Hi everyone, it's James here from TSR Jivey Talks Tech. Now, an old saying goes, and I'm kind of paraphrasing, to steal from one source is plagiarism, to steal from many is research. And I've been researching my whole life. Um, but in the brave new world that is Dolby Atmos, I wanted to find out what proper mixers are doing. You know, the big boys, the guys who are mixing stuff for albums and things like that. Um, and in particular, there's a chap in the UK uh, from a band called Porcupine Tree called Stephen Wilson, who is probably one of the most prolific mixers in all things Atmos that we have at the moment. So I want to check his stuff out, quite frankly, and see what he's doing and, you know, steal from a few of the better Atmos mixers. But how do you listen to other people's Atmos mixes in the studio. If you haven't got a Dolby Atmos listening space in your house, which quite frankly I haven't, I've got a 5.1, but that's not quite the same. How do you configure your studio monitor system to listen to other people's mixes from, you know, digital audio services like Apple Music or Tidal? both of which support Dolby Atmos. Well, I have to thank my friend Paul Mortimer at Emerging for this one, um, because he said, it's ever so easy, you just have to tell Mac OS, and this is a Mac OS solution rather than a Windows one. I'm sure there is a similar equivalent Windows version, but these days I'm fully Mac OS again. Uh, this is the Mac OS solution to allow you to listen to multi-channel audio from, in this case, Apple Music. Slight caveat, I haven't yet got Tidal to work. Tidal does support Dolby Atmos, but at the moment, not for me it doesn't. So what we do is we dive in to the computer, and this is a really simple fix. We go to Audio MIDI Setup. Now, this is somewhere you should all be fairly familiar with, and this is where we configure all our system output sounds. So you can see here, I have a lot of different audio interfaces and different options for where the sound comes from on my computer. And I've selected the Goliath HD Mark III from Antelope Audio. This is the system I'm using for my immersive playback. And we go down here to configure speakers. Now at the moment, I have a stereo rig set up and you can see in my kind of virtual living room space, I have my two speakers. However, we can go to 5.1 and I can test those speakers and you'll hear the speaker white noise blasts, but you'll also see it on this camera here, which is pointing at the monitor screen of the Goliath. So if I test the five speakers, That's my 5.1 rig tested, but I can, of course, go all the way up to 7.1.4. And I can test the rest. And to confirm that, I simply apply it. And we're done. Now, instead of playing back in glorious stereo, we're now playing back where available in amazing, glorious Technicolor Dolby Atmos. And we can go to Apple Music. And if I play back from this particular Stephen Wilson track, you can see we've got the Dolby Atmos logo there indicating there is a Dolby Atmos version available. Um, and I've muted the output so I don't get a copyright strike, but you'll see on the outputs from the Goliath that we're getting full immersive playback. Here we go. It sounds absolutely phenomenal in here now. The Kali audio speakers as calibrated and controlled by the Trinov, we'll talk about that in a future video. Um, it sounds phenomenal. I'm really enjoying listening in a truly immersive Dolby Atmos 714 environment. There's so much material available just through iTunes. If I type Atmos in 
there is so much material available. A lot of it is a bit more commercial, a bit more poppy, but there's so much stuff available. So there's plenty of listening and learning for me still to do. But hey, if you're gonna learn, learn from the best. So a quick one today, I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment down there. Uh, Windows users, please um, help the community to work this stuff out for the Windows world. But for now at least, my name's James Ivey from TSR Jivey Talks Tech, and I'll see you again very soon.